Did you get any shopping done yet? None. No, I did no, some yesterday. Not even online. Actually, when I was out in Birmingham, I ran into L. Brooks Patterson, who was sitting down with this lady, and he said, "You need to meet this lady. She does some amazing art." And it involves metal. Yeah, it's really, really cool. It's called Metalogram, and um, we caught up with her. It's actually a mother-son team. Her name is Linda Schinkel Rodney. She's been an artist all her life. She draws, she paints, she does photography. Well, her son Teddy is dyslexic, and they turned to the arts for a creative outlet. And when they teamed up together, well, they created something really, really beautiful. Check it out. It's a mother-son team, probably like you've never seen before. Their relationship is based on love and the love of art, an art you may never heard of called the telegram. So how do they get here? I was trying to decide exactly what direction I wanted to go in when my son, who was home working on a Ford commercial, was looking at some of my images and just said, Mom, you know, you've got a lot of really great stuff. What would you think about collaborating and working together? That was the start of something great. They started working together to do photography and some painted photography. So right off from the beginning, we experienced some success. So we decided, okay, this is what we want to do. And he's the one who said, Mom, we should be looking at metal. And I knew metal had these wonderful reflective qualities. So I said, okay. Printing photographs on metal is quite expensive, so Teddy decided to try and do it himself. He experimented on some metal that was used in roadside construction, which was corroded by salt and water in some spots. The first couple um, examples that I showed people, they then said, oh, that's a cool effect if it was throughout the entire piece of metal. And kind of one thing led to another, and then we realized that the metal has this whole other um, a background of artistic possibilities. Now their pieces don't just feature the corroded metal, but they have enhanced it in other ways by sanding, etching, and distressing the metal. It started out as being the photographs on aluminum, but really has become much more. And so it's a mixture of digital media, generally photography based, but then with all various types of metal work kind of fused with it. The result is this beautiful image that seems to move as the light hits it from different angles. It's no longer just a photograph, and it's not quite a painting. That was a uh, uh, an issue in developing the pieces, like what do we call them? It's a photography, metal art, fusion thing. So the name that we decided on and recently just trademarked is Metallogram. And so it's like a holographic image on metal. Hoping they had something unique, they decided to go to one of the biggest art shows in the world, Art Expo New York. They mentioned us specifically our art. So that was that was wonderful. Then we really knew we had something. There were people from all over the world. Nobody had seen this before. Recently, Teddy decided to add some more elements to their artwork to make it multi-sensory. Music is something I've been uh, uh, very passionate about. And now, then seeing with the pieces, how then the music can drive the lighting, which then stylizes and enhances the pieces, it's kind of uh, all coming full circle, if you will. Their pieces are truly collaborative, but working with a family member, well, it can be a little stressful at times, but they manage to work through it. My mom understands me probably better than, you know, than most people do. So, you know, working together, we know, you know, what works well, and we, you know, um, very compatible in that way. You know, he's lining it all up, and I said, no, just do a little bit of this, and he'll look at it, and I said, oh, you're right. And I said, oh, that's why you still have me around. Yeah. <laughs> because, yeah, we do, we both realize that we do, you know, offer something. And together, they're achieving their dreams. Oh, man, they are talented. Amazing. Their art is scheduled to be in two art shows this week, one in Chicago, uh, one-of-a-kind Chicago show December 5th through 8th. The other is in uh, par Paris at the French Ministry of Culture's Show Art in Capital, and that's December 4th through 8th. Actually, and what you're looking at right now, that is the picture that is in the exhibit in Paris. Wow, there's such depth yeah, to it. Yeah, very really, talented really people. Neat. I was happy to share their story. I like the use yeah. of light, too. Pretty cool stuff.